Hello, today we're going to be talking about a piece that I just made for an Etsy sale and it's hand painted on slate and it's of Kateri Tekakwitha. Now, many of you may not know about her, but she was born very close to where I live and being born in upstate New York, I live very close to the Mohawk Valley which is part of the five nations of the Haudenosaunee. Other people know them as the Iroquois or Iroquois. When the French came here in the 1600s, they were friends with the Algonquins and the Algonquins were actually enemies of the Haudenosaunee people. And when they would talk about the Haudenosaunee people, they would call them Iroquois and Iroquois was not a good word. It meant something like people of the snakes or it didn't have a good connotation with it. But ever since then, that's what the French called them, the Iroquois. And then the American people call them Iroquois. Leave it to us to bash the French pronunciation. <laughs> but that's what happened. So they're the Iroquois, the people of the five nations, which is, uh, the proper name is Haudenosaunee, and Haudenosaunee means people of the longhouse. It's what they lived in, but it's it also represents like their whole belief system and the family clans and people living together. And where I live in New York, and I'll show you maps later, I live in the Mohawk region, which is one of the five nations, like I said before. And I've made previous videos about old Mohawk locations. Now, the thing about the word Mohawk, that is what the Dutch people called the natives that lived in this specific area. And there are Mohegans. Mohegans are different from the Mohawks. And a lot of you guys have seen the movie Last of the Mohegans the writer of the movie he got the tribes a little mixed up they're very different the the mohegans are more presently they're down in connecticut but they did mingle up in this area but the mohawk people are different now the mohegans when the dutch met the mohegan people they called them maunklin and that means um people of the bear or like of the bear country. And so that's what the Dutch heard, uh, Maunglin, and then they kind of put the word into the Mohawks. So that's how the Mohawks got their name. So I know this is a lot of history, but if you're from this area, stuff like this is, it's really good to know because it kind of puts names with places. And you know, we have the Mohawk River here and Anyways, this painting that I made is of Kateri Tekakwitha, also known as uh, Lily of the Mohawks. And she was born in Asernenan. And Asernenan is in Amsterdam, or that's where they say it's from. Um, but it's actually, the real location was somewhere out by Sprakers. Um, nine miles to the west of present-day Orisville. So Orisville is Osernenan, but it's not really. So this, you know, there's a lot to study. Um, it happened like this because a lot of the history has gotten lost because it happened, you know, some 400 years ago. And here is the piece that I made. And Osernenan, the, the people from Osernenan were of the Turtle Clan. So that's why I have her on a turtle like this and it also has to do with a creation story and then this these are um lilies lily of the valleys that's what these are called and they're very beautiful flowers and if you go into oresville like um down in the ravines they're everywhere and they they smell so pretty they bloom for about three weeks and they put this beautiful scent into the air so i hope you enjoyed this and in the video i'll show a little bit more um pictures and some maps of the whole the mohawk rivers 
this is a traditional picture of Kateri Tekokuitha, older, probably made in the 1950s. And this here shows the map of the five nations and how it goes. The Mohawks are the guardians of the eastern door. And here I kind of highlighted the Mohawk River because it, a long time ago it was like our present day throughway. And I hope you enjoy the time lapse of me painting on the slate. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to me and like the video. Comment down below. Thank you.